Today, we will take a closer look at one of the most common respiratory infections in dogs, kennel cough, also known as infectious tracheobronchitis. Despite the harmless sounding name, kennel cough is a complex multi-agent disease that can affect dogs of any breed, size, or age. It spreads rapidly and can sometimes lead to complications such as pneumonia, especially in puppies, elderly dogs, or those with weakened immune systems. What causes kennel cough? Kennel cough is not caused by a single pathogen. It's a syndromic infection, meaning several viruses and bacteria can be involved simultaneously. The most common combination includes Bordetella bronchiseptica, a highly contagious bacterium that damages the respiratory lining, canine parainfluenza virus, canine adenovirus type 2, canine influenza virus, and occasionally mycoplasma species. When these agents act together, they compromise the protective lining of the trachea and bronchi. This causes irritation, inflammation, and the characteristic cough we associate with the disease. How infection spreads? Transmission occurs primarily through airborne droplets released when an infected dog coughs or sneezes. Because the pathogens can remain suspended in the air or on surfaces for a short time, environments where many dogs gather, boarding kennels, shelters, grooming salons, and dog parks, are ideal conditions for outbreaks. A single cough can spread the bacteria and viruses several meters through the air. Even brief nose-to-nose -nose contact or sharing water bowls can lead to infection. The incubation period, the time between exposure and the first signs of illness, typically ranges from three to 10 days. Clinical signs and symptoms. The hallmark symptom of kennel cough is a loud, harsh, dry, honking cough. Owners often describe it as if their dog is trying to clear something stuck in the throat. Other common symptoms include gagging or retching after coughing, sneezing or mild nasal discharge, watery eyes, mild loss of appetite, slight fatigue after activity. Most dogs remain otherwise alert, active, and maintain normal appetite, which distinguishes uncomplicated kennel cough from more serious respiratory diseases. In mild cases, the cough may last 7 to 14 days, although some dogs can continue to shed the bacteria for several weeks, even after symptoms resolve. When to see a veterinarian? While most cases resolve on their own, medical attention is necessary if the dog becomes lethargic or refuses food, there is fever, rapid breathing, or nasal discharge turns thick and colored, the cough persists for longer than three weeks, or if the dog belongs to a high-risk group, very young, old, or immune compromised. These may indicate the infection has progressed to bronchopneumonia, requiring professional treatment and possibly antibiotics. Diagnosis and veterinary evaluation. Veterinarians diagnose kennel cough primarily through clinical examination and the history of exposure. For example, recent boarding or visits to crowded dog areas. In complicated or severe cases, further diagnostic tests may include chest x-rays to check for pneumonia, PCR tests to identify the specific pathogens, blood work to assess inflammation and immune response. Such tests help rule out other respiratory diseases, such as canine distemper or influenza. Treatment and home care. For most dogs, treatment focuses on supportive care rather than antibiotics. Here's what typically helps. One, rest and reduced activity. Physical exertion triggers coughing and delays recovery. Two, humidified air, exposure to moisture. For instance, sitting in a bathroom filled with steam from a hot shower can soothe the irritated airway. Three, collar-free comfort. Replace a neck collar with a harness to prevent pressure on the trachea. Four, honey or throat-soothing syrups. A small amount of honey, about half a teaspoon per five to 10 kilograms of body weight, can coat the throat and reduce irritation. Five, hydration and balanced nutrition. Encourage water intake to keep mucus thin and easier to clear. If secondary bacterial infection is suspected, veterinarians may prescribe antibiotics, anti-inflammatory drugs, or cough suppressants in specific cases. Prevention and vaccination. Prevention plays a key role. Regular Bordetella vaccination, often combined with parainfluenza or adenovirus vaccines, provides strong protection, though not complete immunity. Vaccines are available as injections, nasal sprays, or oral doses, and are particularly recommended for dogs that attend training classes, grooming facilities, or boarding kennels. Maintaining good air circulation, minimizing overcrowding, and disinfecting shared spaces also significantly reduce transmission. Most healthy adult dogs recover fully within two weeks without lasting effects. However, puppies and elderly dogs may develop secondary pneumonia, 
requiring more intensive veterinary care. With prompt attention and proper management, the prognosis is overwhelmingly positive. In summary, kennel cough is a contagious but generally mild respiratory infection. Understanding how it spreads, recognizing early symptoms, and taking simple preventive measures can greatly reduce your dog's risk. With supportive care, vaccination, and awareness, kennel cough can be managed effectively, ensuring your pet stays healthy, comfortable, and ready to enjoy life again. This is Dr. Paw, helping you keep every tail happy and healthy. <laughs>